Have you ever wondered what goes into creating a visually stunning and user-friendly website? It's a grand puzzle of aesthetics, functionality, and user psychology, all intricately pieced together to form what we call web design. This art form is not merely about crafting beautiful web pages. It's a pivotal component in a business's digital presence, impacting how users perceive and interact with the brand. The web design process is a journey that begins with understanding a project's objectives and target audience. It then progresses to planning and designing the website, ensuring it aligns with the brand's identity and caters to the user's needs. This is followed by the development phase, where the design comes to life through coding. The journey concludes with launching the website and maintaining it to ensure an optimal user experience. Web design is a fascinating field with many layers to explore. In the next few minutes, we will take a deep dive into each of these steps. The first step in the web design process is understanding the project. This is a critical stage that sets the foundation for your entire design work. It's not just about knowing what the client wants, but rather it's about digging deeper to uncover the project's true goals. Clear communication is key here. Whether you're dealing with a client or collaborating with a team, you need to ask the right questions. What is the purpose of the website? Who is the target audience? What are the desired outcomes? Research is your best friend in this stage. Investigate the target audience, their preferences, and their needs understand what your competition is doing right, and more importantly, where they're falling short. This knowledge equips you with the power to create a website that not only meets, but exceeds expectations. Once you have a clear understanding of the project, you can start planning your design. Next comes the planning stage, where you lay the foundation of your web design. It's often said that failing to plan is planning to fail, and this couldn't be truer when it comes to web design. Let's start with creating a site map. Think of this as the blueprint of your website. It outlines the pages your website will have and how they're connected. It's like a roadmap that guides users on their journey through your site. Next, let's talk about technology. The tools you choose will shape your design process and affect the outcome. Are you going for a simple static website? HTML and CSS might be all you need, but if you're aiming for a dynamic, interactive website, you'll need to consider JavaScript or maybe even a content management system like WordPress. Now, onto color schemes and typography. These are crucial as they hut the tone and character of your website. Are you going for a sleek and professional look? Or maybe something fun and vibrant? Remember, colors evoke emotions and typography can make or break your readability, so choose wisely. And let's not forget about responsive design. In today's world, people are browsing the web on a myriad of devices, from smartphones to tablets to desktops. Your design needs to look great and function well on all of them. That's where responsive design comes in. It ensures your website adapts to the screen size it's viewed on, providing an optimal user experience. Each of these aspects requires careful thought and planning. You see, web design isn't just about making things look pretty. It's about creating an intuitive and enjoyable user experience. And that takes careful planning. Remember, your website is like a digital storefront. It's often the first point of contact between your brand and potential customers. So it needs to make a good first impression. With a solid plan in place, you can start creating your web design. Now comes the exciting part, designing the website. This stage of the process is all about giving life to the plans we've previously laid out. We begin by creating wireframes, these are simple, skeletal outlines of the website's structure, designed to provide a clear overview of the site's layout and functionality. Think of a wireframe as the blueprint for a house. It's a plan that shows where everything goes, but doesn't worry about what everything looks like. Once we're satisfied with our wireframes, we move on to creating mock-ups. These are detailed representations of what the final design will look like. They incorporate colors, fonts, images, and other design elements to give a realistic preview of the website's appearance. Mockups are essentially the decorated version of the house we planned with our wireframe. They allow us to see the website as users will see it and make necessary adjustments before we move on to development. 
as we design, it's crucial to remember the importance of user-friendly navigation. A website should be intuitive and easy to explore. Users shouldn't have to struggle to find what they're looking for. They should be able to navigate your site with ease, whether they're on a laptop, a tablet, or a smartphone. So, we must ensure our design caters to all these different devices. Visually appealing design is another key aspect. Our design should not only be functional, but also aesthetically pleasing. It should capture the brand's style and convey the right feel to the audience. A well-designed website can make a powerful first impression, so it's worth investing time and effort into getting it right. In essence, designing the website is about combining function and form to create an engaging, user-friendly experience. It's about taking the user's needs and expectations into account and crafting a design that meets them in an appealing and intuitive way. Once you're happy with your design, it's time to develop the website. With the design in hand, we move into the development stage. This is where we breathe life into the design, transforming it from a static visual into a dynamic, interactive website. To achieve this, we'll be leveraging the power of code. Coding the website is like building a house. We lay the foundation with HTML, which structures our content. Think of it as the walls and rooms of our house. Next, we use CSS to paint the walls and arrange the furniture giving our website its visual appeal. JavaScript, on the other hand, is our electricity. It powers the interactive elements, making our website responsive and engaging. Now, with these languages at our disposal, we start implementing the design. This is a meticulous process of translating every pixel and color into code, ensuring that the final product reflects our initial design. It's like piecing together a puzzle where each component, from the navigation menu to the footer finds its place in the code. Building the website's functionality comes next. This involves creating forms, buttons, sliders, and other elements that users interact with. It's not just about making them look good, but also ensuring they work seamlessly. This is where JavaScript shines, enabling us to create interactive and user-friendly websites. But we're not done yet. A crucial part of developing a website is testing and debugging. We need to ensure our website works flawlessly across different browsers and devices. This means checking every link, testing every form, and scrutinizing every element for potential issues. We're like detectives on the hunt, spotting and fixing bugs before they affect the user experience. Debugging can be a bit of a challenge, but it's an essential step that guarantees our website is ready for the world to see. It's the final polish, the last round of quality assurance before we unveil our masterpiece. Once the website is developed, you're ready to launch. But remember, the journey doesn't end here. Like a garden, a website requires continuous care and maintenance to stay vibrant and relevant. So roll up your sleeves and prepare for the exciting journey ahead. This, my friends, is the art and science of web development. You've designed and developed your website, now it's time to launch. We've arrived at the moment of truth. Launching your website is a thrilling milestone, but it's also a critical stage that requires precision. A smooth launch ensures that all your hard work is showcased in the best light. It's like opening night for a Broadway show. The stage is set, the performers are ready, and now it's showtime. But the work doesn't stop at the launch. Maintaining your website is an ongoing task. You'll need to monitor the website for any issues that may arise. This could be anything from broken links to loading problems or even design inconsistencies. Just as a gardener tends to their plants, you should also nurture your website with updates as required. This ensures your website stays fresh, relevant, and user-friendly. Remember, a well-maintained website is a reflection of your commitment to providing a great user experience. Congratulations, you've just gone through the entire web design process. Let's quickly review the web design process. We began with an introduction to web design, familiarizing ourselves with the basic principles and elements. The first and perhaps most crucial step is understanding the project. This includes knowing your audience, defining the purpose of the website, and setting clear goals. Next, we moved on to planning the design. Here, we considered the website's structure, layout, and navigation. We emphasize the importance of user-friendly design, which considers both aesthetics and functionality. Then, 
we delved into the actual design of the website, where we put our planning into action. We followed this with the development phase, where we brought our design to life using coding languages. Finally, we launched our website, but the process doesn't end there. Regular maintenance and updates are vital to keep your site current and relevant. And there you have it, the process of web design broken down into clear, manageable steps. Remember, a great web design starts with understanding the project and ends with a well-maintained website.